Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing two miners, the Bobcat Miner 300 versus the Panther X2, and they're both placed relatively in the same location. I'm going to be discussing the earnings, and I'm also going to be um, explaining what you can do if your miners are not performing well. All I ask is if you do find value from this video, please do show some love to the channel. So let's start off with the Bobcat Miner 300. When initially setting up this Bobcat Miner 300, I was earning around 0.05 HNT per day. And this is currently the reality for most stock antennas uh, on all miners. This is because there are so many miners currently operating on the Helium network. Only a few months ago, I was earning around four to five HNT per day, but I still held on to my HNT. So if you do not upgrade your antenna setup, then your ROI is going to be much, much slower than having an upgraded setup. I upgraded the Bobcat with the following parts and the miner is placed in the exact same location. The upgrade cost around $240. However, the increase in rewards was around seven times more. The miner is currently earning around 10.44 HNT per month, which equals to around $9 a day with the price of HNT at the time of this video. So how does this compare to the Panther X2? The Panther X2 is placed a few kilometers away from the Bobcat Miner 300. However, initially when using the stock antenna, the rewards were lower, around 0.02 HNT per day. After a week of testing the setup, I upgraded using the exact same parts I used for the Bobcat Miner 300. So the difference this made in earnings was it's increased around five times more. The Panther X2 is earning approximately around $7 per day, which equals to around eight HNT per month. So comparing the earnings side by side, the Bobcat slightly edges the Panther X2. And this is mainly due to the Bobcat witnessing more beacons. Even though the Panther X2 has more witnesses, the goal is to have your antenna witness more antennas rather than just being witnessed. Also, the Panther X2 currently has a relay. So I will be removing this relay and then monitoring the results. So just remember, there are around 700,000 uh, miners currently on the network and based on this I'm currently happy with these results for both miners. Of course they could be better um, however I have optimized them to the max I could for these specific locations. Honestly I cannot stress enough how important the location is. Don't be the person to just give up and not move your miner anywhere else, experiment with different locations. The way that I personally tackle this is in three steps. Step one, first evaluate the location using the Helium Explorer map. My main focus is to find friends, colleagues, or family that are placed in locations where there are not too many miners, and also the transmit scale of the miners around you are between 0.6 and one. If you have low transmit scales, that means if your miner is going to be connecting to um, other miners with low transmit scales and your rewards are going to be lowered. So do take that into consideration. You don't need to physically be in the area to check the location. You can use tools such as Google Earth or Google Maps to evaluate the area and to ensure that there are not many interferences in the way, such as high trees or high rise buildings, as these impact the signal when it's sent out from the antenna. Step two, confirm where you're going to place your antenna in the specified location. So preferably you would want to place it on a rooftop and as high as possible. So when it sends out the signal, it can reach for miles and it's not obstructed by any interference such as windows, walls, uh, trees, etc. So once you have set your dedicated spot, then you can order the parts. And when they come, you can instantly upgrade without having to plan where you're going to place everything. And step three, order the parts from reputable manufacturers such as McGill Microwave, Rockland or Rack. Um, previously, I have ordered from Alibaba and AliExpress and honestly, the antennas and the LMR 400 cables sucked. So um, the output that was uh, coming out for them, <laughs> the antenna could hardly even send out a signal to close by miners. So do take that into consideration. 
And that's it. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if so, please do give it a thumbs up, stay subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.